Hello everyone, I wanted to show off the three new items that have been added to the Nar Shada Nightlife event for 2021. These new items are in addition to all the other items available from this event. If you want to learn more about the event, please look up my two other videos. The first one's going to be a Nar Shada Nightlife guide, and the second one's going to be the Nar Shada Nightlife stuff in 2020, so from last year, because a bunch was added then as well. So these three new items are available to all players, but they can be quite hard to get. The first one is this very adorable new mount. It's called the King Pins Grigna. It costs 30 golden certificates from the Narshada Nightlife vendor in the back of the casino. So that means it's not quite as rare and random chance as the other two things I'm going to show you in this video. You may even have some golden certificates left over from last year you can start using on working towards this mount. Or if you need to get 30 golden certificates, the way you get them is that basically they mostly drop from the Kingpin's slot machine. So not the green one, but the purple one. This is actually a reskin of the Sierra Gurgana mount, which is a cartel market mount. This one's got a unique color. It's kind of a pale blue green color. And for those of you who have watched Star Wars Rebels, it may kind of vaguely remind you of Bendu. So here's the second item. I think this one is both ridiculous and very cool and very pretty. So these are called the High Roller Shades, and they are a very rare drop from the Emperor's Slot Machine. We don't know the odds that this will drop from the Emperor's Slot Machine. I've seen a few people have gotten it so far. I have not been lucky. Um, and it only drops from the Emperor's Slot Machine. So to get those Emperor's Slot tokens, you can either be very, very lucky, it's a very rare drop from the Kingpin slot machines, the purple ones, or you can pick these tokens up across the galaxy. There is one other way to get them, and that's fully completing the Dubious Odds quests and all its subquests. That's the quest you can pick up in the Narshada Nightlife area. So these classes feature a really, really cool rainbow animation. Um, I haven't seen anything quite like this in the rest of the game yet, so I was quite surprised and think it looks really cool. Um, it's got a big golden credit symbol on the bridge of the nose, and it's also got eyeglass loops, uh, chains hanging down from the glasses so you don't lose them in the casino. Congratulations. Um, these are a very silly item, and I really, really like them. I've had quite a few people ask are these legacy bound? I actually don't know the answer to that. So if anyone has gotten a pair, are you able to figure out is it bind on pickup for the character you have it or bind on legacy so you can trade it around? Let me know in the comments below. You should be able to find this out also if someone links it in chat. And here's the last item and I want it so much, but it's a rare trough. <laughs> so this is the adorable, uh, I believe it's called a C1-4W replica droid something something along that lines and you can see it in the decorations panel as well this is the miniature pet version of the claw machine i've heard you guys call it a crane machine um a few other names and it has a little gonk droid that has glass panels instead of metal panels and inside there's a bunch of toys and a little claw that that you can go play as if you could go play with the pet and, and grab the toys out um I really want this one so bad. You can see the larger versions of these wandering about the Narshada nightlife area. Those were added last year in 2020 and people said, oh my God, those are so cute. Um, and they decided that this year they'll add it as a pet. So cute. So I don't actually have any footage of this one. This uh, wonderful picture was sent to me by by Kogas and you can see his tweets about this adorable baby at Kogas underscore. That's his Twitter account as well as his Twitch account. I hope he takes his adorable baby with him PvPing. He also sent me a screenshot of the item and it does seem to be bound to Legacy, so if you win it on one character, you can send it to your other characters. So apart from those three items being added, there has not really been any huge changes to the nightlife event, but here's the two bullet points that they did tell us about. The Emperor's Casino Chip can now be dropped from kills on Mech Shaw and Onderon, during the Nar Shaddaa Nightlife event. And second, the Nar Shaddaa Nightlife tokens can now be dropped during uprisings and as PvP rewards, so you may get lucky and get some tokens without ever stepping foot in the casino. As for those rewards, you may not get so lucky at all. 
As always, it's a huge game of chance, and the percentages are very low. A lot of the percentages of the other rare items from the Emperor slot machine are even below 1%, and I personally have not gotten lucky at all in getting any of these new items, so thank you so much for the different players, including Dekion, who was able to show off those sunglasses earlier. See you guys later, and good luck during the Narshadon Nightlife event. The Narshadon Nightlife event for 2021 will be running June 29th, through August 10th this year, but if you're watching this from the future, these items should become available again in future years, as all other items have done in the past. See you later!